Welcome to this week's edition of UNL Voom. First, we bring you the latest on campus construction. UNLV officials say construction on the Student Rec Center and Phase 2 of the Student Union is right on schedule. Both the Student Rec Center and Phase 2 of the Student Union will open in June 2007. Phase 2 kicks off with a bang later this month when crews demolish the old union. Happy birthday, First Friday! Fans of Las Vegas' local art district just celebrated the street fair's fourth anniversary. Artists from all over the valley set up shop on Charleston and Maine to display and sell their art last Friday. This first Friday of each month, you can see everything from painting and drawing to dance and music. Visitors, visitors are welcome to open or walk through open galleries, or they can walk down Main Street where they will find different types of performance art, including bands and poetry. Now for UNLV Athletics. All eyes on Lady Rebel soccer team this year. They brought home the conference championship last season, but a slow start has the fans wondering if UNLV will see that trophy again. Garrett Heinrich has the story. The UNLV women's soccer team is struggling as Mountain West Conference play gets rolling. The Lady Rebels took a 5-7-1 record into their second conference game against San Diego State on Sunday. The team is looking forward to conference play after having one of the hardest non-conference schedules around. Junior forward Katie Carney is hoping the team can bounce back and repeat last year's success. To make it to NCAAs and then just win our conference tournament again because we won that last year. So if we win it again, then we get an automatic bid. With strong showings against Arizona State and Pepperdine, the UNLV women's soccer team hopes to build momentum going into conference games. One key for the team will be the play of the nine freshmen on the squad this year. Co-captains Ashley O'Haro and Tanya Roberts say the newcomers still have some learning to do. They need to work hard all the time to bring bring up their game to the college level. Right. I mean, we just have to bring them, put everyone who's got to be on the same page. Coach Kat Merch recently installed a new formation for the last half of the season in hopes of opening up more scoring opportunities for the forwards. With thanks to Brian Dukey, I'm Garen Heinrich for UNL Voom. What's the most popular hangout on campus? The new student union or maybe the library? Well, one of the members of the UNL Voom staff is convinced it's the Rock Garden is the place to be. Here, Eric Scheiman's fantastical take on the future of the hotspot. Recently completed construction projects such as the student union and the two new levels of the parking garage are impressive to some, but none of the new projects can compare to the excitement and popularity of the newly renovated sculpture and rock garden in front of the Alta Ham Fine Arts building. The new rock garden replaced a broken down reflection pool constructed with the original building in 1982. The reflection pond or the reflection pool or whatever it was more like an infection pool. It was disgusting. There was dead birds in there. It was just a hot mess. The beautiful new garden serves as a hangout hotspot for many of UNLV students, as well as a great destination for many Las Vegas tourists. The slabs of red rock used in the construction are actually supplied out of a local rock quarry at the Red Rock Resort and Casino. I'm assuming because they're red and the rocks, so red rocks, right? Mm -hmm. From the hotel, they were leftovers. The rock slabs are arranged artistically in a pyramid-shaped sculpture which were designed by the people at the Luxor. The pyramid sculpture is also planned on being used as a site for future human sacrifices. With phase one of the rock sculpture garden completed, the next phases include a topless pool, high-end shopping and restaurants, luxury condos, a large nightclub, and an olive garden. Olive Garden? Please, bitch. I heard there's a right here. Yes, please. Olive Garden. olive Garden? No, those are olive trees, not Olive Garden. With still more phases in the works and a budget of $1.6 billion, planners tell us that the finished Rock Garden project should be completed by the year 2012. I'm Eric Scheiman reporting for UNL Voom. That wraps up UNL Voom today. Be sure to check out podcasts at Rebcast.com. Come back next week to see the interview with the winner of the CSUN election. Thanks for joining us.